everyone welcome to chinnami zone this is fifth part of truth pixie the rest of your life is full of good stuff you'll travel the seas both calm and rough it's up to you wherever you go the sun of the desert the cold of the snow you'll eat ice cream tasting of strawberry and rose you'll feel happiness from your head to toes you'll love your pet cat and you'll enjoy a curl You'll dance and sing and splash in a puddle. You'll have fun at Christmas and Easter too. In summer, you'll sometimes go to the zoo. You'll laugh at bad jokes and fall off a chair. Feel the sun on your face and the wind in your hair. You see, life is like a voice. How you how you use it is really your choice. You can live life as a mumble or sing it clear. but it will be often special you'll be glad to hear you'll have so many moments whole years full of fun that will be there just waiting once the sad days are done sure life isn't always one big smile but things turn out fine when you wait a while yes the night has dark bits but it has stars too and you'll feel when they shine that they shine just for you You will step outside and see from the park that the light is brighter when it's next to the dark. You'll have so many great times ahead and soft happy dreams from inside your bed. The future is changing. A life is a mix. A life's made of hope like a house of bricks. And tonight right now you'll feel very sad, but the rest of your life won't be so bad. Add a listen and add a heard, add a hung on every word. Add a knows the pixie is right, the present is dark but the future is bright. Thank you truth pixie, you made things clear. I will cry today but I won't cry all year. It's all a bit weird and a little bit mad. But you'll never know happy unless you know sad. The truth pixie starts to feel a bit pleased. Ada gives Martha some very fine cheese. The pixie says, "I guess I should go." The girl thinks hard and then says, "No!" The far north, says the pixie, is where I belong. But even as she says it, she feels it is wrong. Ada stands up and looks very serious. "Listen," she says, "it is not so mysterious. You just said that life is what we choose." If you stay with me, you've got nothing to lose. The truth pixie thinks, the truth pixie ponders, the truth pixie blinks, the truth pixie wonders. With you, are you sure? But what about your dad? Dad talks about pixies when he thinks I'm sad. He won't mind. He likes my friends. Really, says the pixie, and her heart starts to mend. But what about Martha? When you get your new cat? Hmm. Yes, we'll need to think about that. Maybe I'll get a dog instead. The future keeps changing. That's what you said. The truth pixie smiles from ear to ear. Her first actual smile in over a year. Thank you, Ada. Thanks for being you. Thanks for making me glad to be true. And Ada smiles back and looks out at the sky. The pixie is proud that she never did lie. Ada's father walks in and sees the creature there, with its big bright eyes and a mouse in its hair. Then he says something stranger that he couldn't replace. A smile on his daughter's one sad face. Oh, Pixie, thank you a lot. Ada wanted a smile, and now that's what she's got. You must stay with us. You've got no better plan. Join us for supper. The soup in the pan. Oh, thank you," says TP. "You're so very kind. Can my mouse join us too, if you don't really mind?" Ada laughs, and her father laughs too, and the truth pixie laughs, and the laugh feels new. The pixie still lives there to this day. Her truth no longer leads to hide away. That's the power of a loving friend. And here's the part we say, the end. If you like the story Truth Pixie please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye